action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. Now we're it's Friday uh, before a long weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Hopefully, you guys all have a safe and fun weekend. I'm gonna try and get away from the computer a little bit. Maybe go do some hiking with my wife uh, this weekend. There's also uh, the new Avengers video game has uh, hit from Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics. I'm going to try and play a little bit of that this weekend as well. And then if you've got Amazon Prime, there's the second season of The Boys that hit just today. And definitely going to be checking that out as well. So um, like I said, hopefully you guys all have a safe and happy uh, Labor Day weekend. But before then, let's uh, talk about some news, some uh, news to finish out the week here. And let's start off with Tomasi Nations and a new Dragon Ball figure that has gone up for pre-order. Now we've seen this figure. It's the Rikum figure that we had seen at some of the previous events that Tomasi Nations has held this year. But the figure, we've got new official images and the figure is available for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. It is slated with a March 2021 release date. Now the figure is said to stand about 7.9 inches tall. You're gonna get a couple different pairs of hands. Looks like two head sculpts for the figure itself. You're also going to get an alternate Jinyu head sculpt. That's a figure that is sold separately, but if you have that one, you'll get an alternate head for it. And then you also get things like the Dragon Ball and a frog, which I really don't know what the story is behind the frog. As I've said many times, I really don't follow Dragon Ball that closely. But if you want to uh, give me a heads up on what the frog is, you know, just let me know in the comment section below. But again, that figure is available for pre-order now and is slated for release in March. For you Funko Pop fans, I got a couple of things I wanted to share with you. So first of all, there is a new Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us dressed up as Superman Pop figure that is being released. Unfortunately, it looks like it's only going to be made available to folks in Canada. It is available on the Toys R Us Canada website right now. Um, but no indication that this figure is going to see release here in the United States. And then there's also kind of a cool one, uh, Tasmanian Devil from Looney Tunes dressed up as the Flash. I remember uh, years ago they did Happy Meal toys. Uh, I, I think I still have my Tasmanian Devil uh, uh, Happy Meal toy dressed up as the Flash uh, somewhere. But a uh, cool one if you're a Flash fan. Now, heads up on this from Popkeep. They're the ones that made me aware of this. And this should be available at retailers uh, sometime this year. There's also going to be new pop vinyl figures based on the Avengers video game. So uh, these are going up for pre-order today. There's going to be Hulk, Thor, Modoc, Taskmaster, and then also Captain America and uh, Iron Man, Miss Marvel, two versions of Black Widow. There's going to be a, a regular version and then a glow in the dark chase version. And then, of course, there's also going to be store exclusives. So there's going to be a glow in the dark Captain America, a glow in the dark Thor figure. Captain America is going to be exclusive to Best Buy and Thor is going to be exclusive to Amazon. Then there's going to be an alternate version, uh, actually a better looking version of Iron Man, in, in my opinion, that is going to be exclusive to Target. And then Outback Hulk is going to be exclusive to Walmart. And these should all be, if they're not up for pre-order as I'm fi filming this, they should be up sometime later today. For you fans of the game Apex Legends, which is not a property I'm terribly familiar with, but Jack Specific is going to be doing six inch figures for this game. Three of the figures, the first wave is up for pre-order now at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, and they're going to include figures of Bloodhound, Pathfinder, and Wraith. For you wrestling fans out there, Super 7 announced this week that they're going to be doing 7-inch scale ultimate figures based on the major wrestling podcast. They're going to be doing Matt and Brian, which are former WWE wrestlers. These figures are going to cost $45 each, or if you buy them as a set, they'll be $90. bucks. they are chocked like with all the Ultimates figures. They're chocked with a lot of accessories. And these figures are available for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. Real quick, I wanted to share this new official image released of the upcoming 7-inch scale Mandarin Spawn figure. I talked about this in the last video, but now we have an official image for the figure. 
This is the Walmart exclusive gold label collection exclusive. There is going to be a regular release that will be in red. Again, I talked about all of this in the last video. It's still not clear what actual property the Spawn figure will be released under. I'm still thinking it's going to be the Witcher video game, but those details have not yet been made available. But as I mentioned in the last video, there was a, a distributor list that hit the internet uh, months ago that indicated it was going to be part of the Witcher line. But again, we'll just have to see uh, how, how that goes. But this particular Walmart, the Walmart exclusive version, is going to be going up for pre-order on the Walmart website starting on October 1st. And then the figure is slated with a January 2021 release date. I have no idea when the regular version is going to go up for pre-order or be available. Uh, those details you know, will be coming in, in the coming days, I suppose. And then for you DC Multiverse fans, finally up for pre-order is that Multiverse 2-pack featuring the Flash and Red Death figure. We saw this set, it was announced during the July event last month, and it was said it was going to be going up for pre-order late last month or early this month, and in fact it is now available for pre-order on Amazon.com, and I'll put a link to that in the video description below. Now the figures, uh, the Flash is essentially the same Flash figure with, a, I believe, a different head sculpt and different hands as the single pack version. Uh, one thing to note here is it does not look like those lightning effect pieces are being included with the two pack version of Flash. So if you want those, you're going to have to get the single one. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. They indicated previously that the lightning effects would also be included with this one. And you still have the holes and everything on the figure because it's the same mold as the single pack version. but but uh, those lightning effect pieces do not appear to be included. You do get a diorama display base for both figures to stand on, and then you also get the individual circular figure stands that we always see with these, and the two art cards for the figures. The set is gonna cost you 50 bucks, and Amazon has it listed currently with an October 30th release date. Now real quick before I get into uh, my last couple pieces of news, uh, I posed this question on my Facebook page yesterday, but I just want to put it out to you guys out there. I'm just curious how many people would be interested in seeing a six or seven inch highly detailed articulated line of 18 figures based on the original TV series, not the movie, uh, but the original TV series. And, you know, I'm not really talking about a whole line, but like, you know, at least the four main team members their van a six inch scale 18 van would be really cool as well you know with their signature machine guns you know maybe do a couple other characters like amy uh the the amy character or tanya or maybe one of the military guys decker or lynch who was always chasing after them but definitely you know i would love i personally would love to see uh the team you know murdoch ba uh, face and, and hannibal um in, in a six or seven inch scale form. I don't know who would do it, you know, maybe NECA, maybe Super 7. Um, you know, Mr. T's obviously up to having action figures made since we were seeing Mattel doing a few in the, their WWE line. Um, you know, uh, Dirk Benedict, I, I would imagine probably you could get his likeness rights. Uh, same thing with uh, the actor who played Murdoch. Uh, George Pappard, who played Hannibal, is no longer alive, so he, he could be a little more difficult. I guess he could be a little tricky to get his likeness rates, but, but definitely I would love to see a company uh, do that, uh, give us a, a nicely detailed uh, six or seven inch scale articulated uh, set of 18 figures. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is that something you'd like to see as well? You know, let me know in the comments section below. Okay, and then finally, as I said, I got a couple bits of news to share with you guys on the NECA toy front, specifically in regards to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So first of all, just a quick uh, little minor update to a story from last month. So last month, you may recall, they teased, and we still haven't gotten full details on this, uh, just a little another uh, nugget of information for this set, but it's based on the 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, movie. It's the scene where uh, uh, Splinter is still a rat, and he's basically giving, it's a flashback scene where he's kind of talking about his origins. And um, you've got his master, Yoshi, and uh, Shredder, before he was Shredder, Oroku Saku, um, you know, were basically uh, battling it out, and, and, and again, Splinter was still a rat, and he was in his cage. So that, the set's going to have uh, Yoshi, Shredder, and then a, 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 a Splinter that's still a rat in, in the cage. But uh, the news that came out this week via NECA's social media is that a Shredder figure is going to have a head sculpt. I think it's probably going to be an alternate head sculpt 
where you know where uh, Splinter the rat you know kind of basically kind of jumped on him and gave him the scrape that you know he has that scar on his face and that basically came from Splinter so uh, the head sculpt is is gonna have essentially that recreating that scene where, where the Splinter rat kind of scratches his face so I think that's an alternate head so I think there'll be maybe one without the scratch and then one with the scratch and maybe the scratch is going to be kind of bloody so instead of just like a scar but I'm not entirely sure but more details on that set, set should be coming soon so when they do I'll be sure to share them with you but what we did get to uh, this week was information uh, uh, for two new sets that are going up for pre-order on NECA's own website they are up for pre-order now as you're watching this the first one is movie related it is an accessory set so you're getting things like a street sign, uh, four alternate turtle heads, you're getting a skateboard, a manhole cover, uh, the baby turtles, a pizza, other snacks, a mutagen canister, uh, a helmet for, for Splinter, or not Splinter, but Shredder. Um, they took uh, an accessory from one of their uh, larger scale figures and shrunk it down the, the hand with the spinning uh, uh, nunchuck. So uh, they've shrunk that down for the seven inch scale figures that you can use if you have those. So this and, and the newspaper, the New York Most uh, um, paper, again, stuff from the, essentially that we saw in the movie. So this accessory set is available. It's up on the NECA store now for pre-order. It's gonna cost you 50 bucks. It'll be available. It's a made to order type thing. So you've got all week, you've got until next Friday at 11 a.m. to pre-order this. So you don't have to worry about it selling out. It is a little bit on the hefty price side. You know, it is 50 bucks. I've seen some people kind of grumbling about the price, but you know, you are getting quite a few accessories there. So I don't know, but kind of cool. And then the second thing is uh, the city diorama set for the animated series Turtles. They had this on display. They were using this to show off their figures at New York Toy Fair back in February. And then they later came out and said they were planning on actually making that available for folks to buy. I think the original plan was that it was gonna be offered at San Diego Comic-Con, but um, it is available for pre-order again for the entire week. So you have until next Friday at 11 a.m. The, the set is, or this diorama piece is gonna cost 150 bucks, but as I understand it, that does include uh, shipping. So, you know, that, that actually helps a little bit there. There's gonna be uh, some type of full color closed box packaging for this, so that should be interesting. See, no images of that have been released yet. And, um, you know, it holds quite a few figures. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily even have to use it just for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They did a similar uh, city set uh, that they released a, a year or two ago. So very similar to that one. Uh, and I believe you can put some stuff inside there and some of those windows and stuff. So you have that ability as well. So um, the figure, you know, and it says it can hold up to 30 figures now. It'd probably be look pretty crowded if you actually put 30 at least like seven inch scale turtle figures on there but you know you can definitely get quite a few figures on there i think it would have been really cool if they'd added just one more level a bottom under the street level for their sewer you know to give you kind of like a sewer playset type deal i think that would if they'd done that i would definitely have bought it in a heartbeat but um, even still, like I said, not too bad, uh, is a little bit on the hefty price, but again, as I understand that that should uh, be including uh, uh, shipping as well. And like I said, both of those, the accessory set and the diorama are available for pre-order on the NECA store website. And according to NECA, these are going to be the last items they're doing pre-orders for this year. So, um, you know, I was really hoping they were going to put up the April two pack since I've not yet got my hands on that one. I was hoping they were going to do a pre-order for that one, but, um, maybe next year, you know, they definitely said just for this year, not that they weren't going to be doing any more pre-orders for turtle stuff, but for this year, this looks to be it. Okay. So that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about. Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget we have those new contests going on both Toy News International and Marvelous News where we're giving away $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. Links to both of those contests are in the video description below. Stay safe out there. Have a good holiday weekend. And until next time, guys, 
I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.